Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, Victor. Good evening, teacher. How are, How are you? you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. And you? Fine. Ready for All class. Right. Excellent. Ready for the class. That's good. What about Kevin? How are you, Kevin? Good evening, teacher. I'm Good great. Evening. You're great. All right. Excellent. Good Thank evening, you. Carla. Uh, I'm good, Kevin. I'm actually uh, excited because today, basically, we're going to finish section three. All right. So it's going to be pretty amazing. How are you, Carla? I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. are fine. Time. All right, great. Very good to see you, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see you all. Today we are going to work on section three, and the topic of the section is what do you do? We are officially in class number six. All right. Let's check who else do we have. Veamos quiénes más se van conectando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Claribel. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Xiomara. Good evening. Hi, teacher. teacher. Hi. Check. Hi, Giovanni. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Let me check. Hi, Kevin. Good evening. Hi, Ruth. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Very good. Very good. Si les funciona el audio. That's great. All right, everybody, let's get started. Do you remember? Espero que ustedes tomen en cuenta que yo como docente tengo que asegurarme que ustedes vayan practicando el vocabulario que van adquiriendo. All right? En este caso, el día de ayer adquirieron nuevo, vocab nuevo vocabulario. So I need to know if you remember the vocabulary. So we have number one, mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture. Si bien es cierto que el día viernes estuvimos trabajando con furniture, el vocabulario, right, furniture, quiero saber si recordamos la pronunciación de este vocabulary. So let's get started. Vamos a iniciar ya con Carla. Let me hear you, Carla Miranda, please. Tell me three vocabulary words. Yes, uh, sit all day, works at night. Furniture, Carlita. Relacionado a la furniture, a la mobiliaria, right? Muebles. Ah, todo lo que I'm vimos sorry. el viernes. Okay. Um, coffee table. Coffee table, table. yes. Uh, microwave. Microwave oven. I'm oh, sorry, microwave oven. Mm -hmm. Great, excellent. Thank you, Carla. Let's go with, vamos a ver, Victor, tell me another tree, please. Siempre relacionadas a furniture. Okay. Eh, eh, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. eh, eh, estuf, estufa. ¿Cómo? Perdón, Stop. ¿cómo es? Stuff. Mm -hmm. Así sería, stuff. Yeah, stuff. Eh, eh, table, mirror. Mm -hmm. All right, table, mirror. That's great, excellent. Thank you, no, Victor. Okay. Vamos bien. Sí, lo recuerda, eso es excelente. Let's go with another one. Vamos con... Caribel no estuvo, Madeline tampoco. Vamos a ver, Kevin. Lo que usted sí estuvo en la clase del viernes, Kevin. Let me hear you. Quiero ver, ¿es cortines? ¿Cortines? ¿Cortines? Curtains. Curtains. Microwave. Um... Ah, se me olvidó el nombre de... Uh, what about where you, where you sit? ¿A dónde usted se sienta? Ah, uh, ah. Uh... Is child? No, 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 no. Uh, Fias is chair. Chair. Uh, Siempre plural uh, chairs. Sofa. Sofa. That's true. Okay. Very good. Excellent. 
Now, let's go with number two, everybody. Vamos con la número dos. Ahora sí, esto es relacionado al vocabulario que vimos ayer. Three jobs that you learned last class. Tres profesiones que usted aprendió en la clase pasada. Iniciemos con... Vamos a ver. Con Claribel. Ajá, Claribel. Tell me three. Después de Claribel, va Madre. Mm. A doctor, policies. Police um, officer. Police officer, cashier. Mm -hmm. That's great, cashier, very good. Ahora vamos con Madeline, please. Chef. Uh -huh. Nur, no, nurse. 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 Teacher. Uh -huh. That's great, excellent, very good. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con alguien más. Let me check. ¿Qué hay de...? Okay, Giovanni, excellent. Tell me. Uh, pilot. Uh -huh. uh, attendant fly. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant is singer. Singer, that's great. Very good. Thank you. And let's listen to... Victor, aha, Victor, tell me another tree. A chef. Ajá. Eh, a, a doctor, que ya lo dijeron. Eh, a inge, a, an engineer. An engineer, ajá. Uh -huh. That's great, eh, excellent. A mechanic. A mechanic, that's true, very good. Y qué bueno que saben otros que no estaban ayer en la clase, pero ustedes ya los tienen en su radar, that's great. Let's go with Xiomara. Después de Xiomara, iría eh, Carlos Acevedo. Action, Xiomara. A cashier. Uh -huh, cashier. Doctor. Uh -huh. uh, judge. 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 Uh -huh. Y liar. Liar. Yay, very good. Everybody, gracias, Xiomara. Excelente. No olviden, no es cashier, sino que es cashier. 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 All right, relax. Okay, let's go with Carlos. See, sí, teacher, uh -huh. uh, lawyer, uh, nurse. That's great. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Now, everybody, with that being said, let's move on. Ayer me hicieron falta algunas personas que pasaran con el vocabulary. Y como tenemos mucho tiempo, porque realmente toda esta semana vamos a trabajar la section three, de acuerdo al calendario que a mí me enviaron, ¿ok? So, let's check. Vamos a pedirle a Jaime Flores, no, a Jimmy Flores, please, que me diga el vocabulary. Después okay, de teacher. Jimmy iría Kevin Villalobos. Ok. Job vocabulary and activity. Cashier, cook or chef, mm -hmm. doctor, fly attendant, Josh. Lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, reception, receptionist, mm -hmm. salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. Usted no pasó ayer, verdad, Mr. Flores? No, no, no. no Great. No Very good. No. Qué bueno que pasó ahora. Vamos con Kevin, please. Kevin Villalobos. Okay, jobs, vocabulary, uh, and activities. Cashier, is cashier? No, cashier. Cashier, cooks or chef, doctor, fry attendant, joke, uh, judge, judge, mm -hmm. judge, okay. Lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Uh, Sales. Salesperson. 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 Security guard. Guard. Security guard. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Waited. Waited. Y waitress. Waitress. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And the last person that didn't pass yesterday, it was Janet Guevara. Okay, Janet, tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, 
hobbies, vocabulary, and activities. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, field attendant, judge, liar, judge, judge, Jack. La G no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh, ¿Dónde? En judge. En judge. No, Musi. Ah, musician. Music. Nurse. Eh, musician. Pilot. Musician. Pilot. Pilot. Police officer. Presection. Sales eh, person. La L, no sé tampoco cómo se pronuncia. Salesperson. Salesperson. Person. Security guard. Security Cinco. guard. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Y la última, no sé tampoco Waitress. cómo se pronuncia. Perdón. Waitress. 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 Excellent. Thank you, Janet. Very good job. Now, listen up, everybody. Let me tell you something. Bye. Les recuerdo. En que el día, eh, creo que fue Víctor el que pidió en el grupo el, el link para poder entrar a las recordings, a las grabaciones, all right? Entonces, si por cualquier motivo usted no se pudo conectar a la clase, y quizás estamos haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma La Ligera, ¿verdad? Por completarlos y no le prestamos mucha atención a la pronunciación, yo les animo a que puedan ver las recordings, las grabaciones. De esa manera ustedes van a poder mejorar todavía más la pronunciación, que esa es la meta, ¿ok? Recuerden, la gramática es muy importante, sin gramática no podemos hablar, pero también la pronunciación nos puede afectar si no estamos pronunciando, ¿ok? Carla, do you have a question or you want to say something or you want to participate? And I have a question, uh -huh. teacher. Tell yeah, me. Uh, solo teníamos que dar una, una duda. Cuando uh -huh. dice waiter and waiters, uh -huh. cuando hablamos en plural, en waiters, ¿cómo sería? Waitress. Ajá, pero lleva doble S, se agrega la E y la S. Let me check. Uh -huh. She was a waiter, there are waiters. No, solo para waiters puede hacerlo plural. Waiters. Ah, ah ok. Yo tenía mi duda. Yeah, yeah. Que puede decir los meseros. Los meseros. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Yes. Recuerde que es como en español, nosotros, cuando, en ese sentido, ¿verdad? No siempre es todo como en español. Nosotros, cuando vemos un grupo de meseros, eh, decimos los meseros, ¿right? Aunque ahí hayan personas del género femenino. Uh -huh. Meseros, ¿right? No hacemos la separación. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you, teacher. Great, you're welcome. Excellent. Now, everybody, with that being said, habiendo hecho esto, let's move on to this one. Places and activities. Please remember, take into consideration that we have quite a lot of places, right? Hay más lugares. Por ejemplo, algunos de ustedes mencionaron teacher. ¿En qué lugar trabaja un teacher? The school. School. The school. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Correct. University? In a, in a university, exactly, that's correct. So, take it into consideration that you can get creative. Tomando en consideración, usted se puede poner creativo, right? Dependiendo, vi que algunos de ustedes han investigado eh, nuevas, nuevos jobs or professions, y eso es excelente, los felicito mucho, right? Entonces, también pueden ir acoplando los places y las actividades de esas nuevas professions. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Solo voy a pasar a dos personas aquí a que me digan el vocabulary, por si en dado caso nos hemos olvidado de cómo pronunciarlo. Let's have Eric Lasso, please. Tell me the vocabulary of places and activities. Uh, places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Where's a uniform? Sit. Sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, uh, great 
greatest ticket. Right ticket. Right ticket. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good job. Thank you. And let's go with, let me check. Hubo alguien que no pasó ayer. Let me see. Giovanni Trigueros, please. You were not in the class yesterday, right, Giovanni? Okay. Tell me the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The places in a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, takes to people, works hard, stands all days, handles the money, works at night, eat great ticket. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Now let's practice. This is your time. Yesterday, algunos de ustedes hicieron una sentence ayer y la pasaron a decir. Yo sé más o menos quiénes son los que no pasaron. Así que para ahora tienen tre three sentences, right? Vamos, les voy a dar el tiempo para que trabajen en las otras dos oraciones que tienen que hacer. Recuerden, utilizando ya sea el place, o la activity, o inclusive algunos hicieron unas sentences super geniales ayer en las cuales utilizaban places and activities, all right? So you can do it. Ustedes pueden hacer. Okay, take your time and let me know when you're finished. Me dicen cuando ya hayan finalizado. También me pueden decir si quieren que los deje la lámina en el vocabulary, de places and activities, o en el de jobs. You let me know. Everybody listen up. I want to clarify something, all right? Quiero hacerle una aclaración en esto. Sí existe el poder decir waitresses, all right? Cuando estamos hablando de camareras, no es muy usual decir eso, ni siquiera en español. La mayoría de gente utiliza solo el singular, pero no está prohibido que ustedes puedan decir waitresses. Aunque los contextos usualmente no aplican, pero usted puede decir waitresses si en dado caso se le genera su contexto para decir meseras en plural. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. Whenever you finish the other two sentences, let me know, okay? Great, Kevin, have you finished? 
or do you have a question? I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. Okay, tell me your sentences, please. A pilot works in an airport. A judge works in a court. Mm -hmm. That's true. Great. Yeah, ayer pasó con su sentence, Kevin. No. Okay, tell me the other one then. A doctor works in hospital. Uh -huh, exactly. ¿Y qué actividades son, doctor Kevin? Y... Sits all day o stands all day? Perdón. Sits all day o stands all day? He stands all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Right. Okay, excellent, Kevin. Very good job. That's great. Thank you. Now, do we have another participant or do you want more time? Okay, Juan, great. Tell me. Eh, las, las tres, las tres oraciones. Yeah, yeah okay. eh, Lawyers, lawyer works in an, in an office. Mm -hmm. eh, all the scientists wears uniform. <laughs> That's true. Eh, the chef works in a restaurant. Uh -huh. And what activity does the chef do? Well, Maybe they're uh, cooking all day. Uh huh. Exactly. I I, I think. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. They cook all day. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with another one. Do I have another one? Great, Karina. Tell me. Uh, cashier handles money. Yes. Uh, wire stamp all day. Mm -hmm. Uh, sales person works hard. Great, Karina. Where does um? Let me see. Where does a waiter work? Donde trabaja un waiter usually? Um, the restaurant. Exactly, yeah, that's it. Pretty basic, right? Thank you, Karina, very good. Very good, another one? Or should I pick and choose? O debo escoger yo? Es que no lo quiero escoger porque no sé si ya finalizaron todos, all right? Yo, teacher. Great, great, Joe. Comience. <laughs> um, aunque no sé si están correctas, pero ahí voy. Uh, receptionist work in an office. Uh, security guard work all day. Uh -huh. Y the pilot, pilot handles all day. Uh, ¿A pilot? The pilot handles all day no stands all day pasa no. parado un piloto uh, de pilot manejar uh, drives drives all day uh, ah pues sería de pilot drive all day uh -huh. también puede decir flies the flies the airplane all right all day oh. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Ruth. Very good. Let's go with another one. Alguien más? Don't be afraid, all right? El propósito de esto es ver en qué se les puede ayudar. Actions, your mother. Vaya, no sé si están buenos. <laughs> Usted dele. <laughs> Vaya. A nurse work at night in a hospital. Mm -hmm. She wears a chef uniform on the restaurant. O no sé si es eh, wears. A chef a wears sh a, a uniform. A, a chef. Ah, no es uniform chef. No, no. no. Chef no. uniform. Yes, okay. a chef 
wears a uniform. A uniform in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. My sister talks to people in a store. Great, very good job, excellent. Thanks. Great, great. Another one, alguien más? Make up your mind, don't be afraid, all right? Ya tienen que hacerse la idea de que siempre van a participar en estas actividades. Así que, don't be ashamed, no tenga pena, all right? Vaya, pues como no tengo ningún volunteer, let's go with Jimmy Flores. Después de Jimmy va Carlos Acevedo, Acevedo y luego Alfredo Alfaro. Action. Okay. Uh, I am here, I am in a hospital. Lawyer works in a court. My friend is on the beach. All right, great. But tell me, uh, what's the profession of your friend? No, pero están en un lugar. Eso quise decir. All right, yeah. But you need to learn how to mix them, the three options, all right? You need to learn that. Okay, very good. Actually, Jimmy, your sentences are good. Grammatically speaking, right? Hablando gramaticalmente, sus oraciones están correctas. Very good. Let's go with Carlos. Okay. Uh, the mechanic works hard in the workshop. Uh -huh. The teacher works in a school. The receptionist works, sits all day in the office. That's great. That's true. Hey, excellent. Sits all day in an office. Very good. That was curious. <laughs> Let's go with Mr. Alfaro, please. Después de Mr. Alfaro. Paro iría Claribel. Everybody van a disculpar si a veces eh, me cuesta pronunciar sus nombres, pero todos los nombres que llevan Eren, for me are <laughs> my death, all right? Son mi muerte. So please um, bear with me. Así que me tienen paciencia con eso. Action, Mr. Alfaro. Your microphone. A doctor works in a hospital. Mm -hmm. He works at night. Uh -huh. A teacher talks to people and works in school. Yeah, that's true. Excellent, Alfredo, very good. Let's go with Claribel. La primera me la copió el compañero. The doctor, <laughs> the doctor works at night. A chef works in a restaurant, a chef works a stand all day. Yeah, that's true. A chef stands all day. Great, Claribel. Very good. Very honest, your sentences. Okay. Let me listen, Kevin. Uh -huh, Kevin Villalobos, tell me. Arita. Okay. Uh, the customer service works in a call center, the engineer works in a uh, industry or industry. Industry. Um oh, the pilot works in airport. Uh-huh. A pilot or a pilot works in an airport. Very good. Great. What about Mr. Galdames? Have you passed? Ya pasó, Victor? Or done? Haven't you? Sí, pero no hay problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, a receptionist work sit all day. A telephone operator work all day sitting down. A mechanic work in the workshop. A engineer work in the factory. Mm -hmm. All right, great, great, Mr. Galdames. The last great. thing. Uh -huh. Okay, let me check. Okay. I love Carlita, yes. Uh, tell me. Yes, sería, yo tenía una así. The nurse, no, the nurses have turned. She mm -hmm. works at night. They. 
Porque dijo nurses. Uh -huh. They work at night. Ah, they work at night. Uh -huh. Ok. Only okay. Solo una, Carla. <laughs> yes. Ok, very good. Vamos con Mr. Lazo, please. Siento que se va a dormir Mr. Lazo. <laughs> No, no. Uh, I work in an office. Mm -hmm. uh, he works in a store. My sister works hard. All right, great. Also, grammatically correct. Very good. Let's go with Madeline. Do you have your sentences, Madeline? Oh, pasó ayer, verdad, Madeline? Sí, yeah. combiné las. las ah, usted fue. <laughs> Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. You were wow yesterday. <laughs> okay, everybody. Pronunciation, reduction of do and does. All right. Listen up. Algo bonito que tiene el idioma es que a veces tiene distintas formas de pronunciar algo. All right. En este caso tenemos las reductions. No son tan parecidas a las no son tan parecidas a las contractions, pero sí son reductions, right? For example, en este caso tenemos el do you, okay? So, where do you work? Usualmente así lo diría alguien normal, right? Where do you work? Debido a los diferentes acentos que hay inclusive en los Native American speakers, en los hablantes nativos, ellos hacen muchas contractions y reductions. No se vayan a sorprender si en algún momento ustedes escuchan que alguien le pregunta algo y no se escuchan los auxiliares en medio de esa pregunta. ¿Ok? Porque ellos hacen esa reduction al hablar súper rápido. ¿Ok? That's why you need to learn it. For example, en vez de decir, where do you work? They say, where do you work? Where do you work? ¿Ok? Uh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? All right. Uh, ellos tratan de unir ambas, tanto el subject como el auxiliar. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? All right. A veces suena como si tuviera una R in the middle. Ok. Listen, esto, cuando yo era una learner, cuando yo era un aprendiz, dije, no, no va a pasar. O sea, sí se les va a entender. Y la primera experience que tuve hablando con una persona North, North American, he was speaking so fast. Estaba hablando tan rápido que yo sentía que no decía ningún auxiliary. <laughs> y yo me mente poniéndole los auxiliaries. So you need to learn this. Tiene que ir haciéndose ya la idea de que hay personas que lo hablan súper rápido el idioma. All right? Y si sí, usted le puede decir, hey, can you be slower? Puede ir un poco más despacio, all right? Pero usted igual tiene que acostumbrar su oído a estas expressions. Now, I already practiced. Yo ya practiqué en frente a ustedes para que escucharan las contractions. Ahora les toca a ustedes. Do I have a volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario quiera pasar. Me, teacher. Ok, let me check. Tengo un me por ahí. Me. Ah, ok. Vaya, vale, primero vamos con Madeline, Carlita, porque ella levantó la mano y después vamos con usted, ok? Ok, thank you. Thank you. Uh, where do you work? Where, what do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do you they work? What do you they do? What do they do? What do you they do? No, usted me está diciendo do you they do y no, solo puede llevar un subject. What do they do? What what? Mm -hmm. What do they do? do? Ah, what do they do? Ah. Great, <laughs> excellent. Very good. Vaya, va, les voy a dar les voy a dar cómo se dice prioridad en esta parte, que primero las lean despacio, ¿ok? Porque tenemos la práctica en la que ustedes van a tener que ir despacio, rápido, despacio, rápido, ¿ok? Pero no hemos llegado ahí, so let's take it easy. 
Así que así como las leyó Madeline, ustedes pueden leerlas ahorita para que se vayan haciendo la idea. Let's go with Carla, please. Um, where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? Mm -hmm, What right. does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Mm -hmm. Great, excellent, very good job. Let's bueno, go una, with... En la última sentí que me, me costó. Se enreda la lengua. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, all right? No se preocupe, Carla, you are learning, all right? Let's go with another one. Vamos con Giovanni Trigueros, después de Giovanni va Carlos Acevedo y después va Claribel Monterrosa. Action. All right, pronunciation. A reduction of do and does. What do you do? Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do you work? What do you do? Okay. Pronunciation, reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Great, excellent. Thank you, Giovanni and Carlos. Let's go with Claribel. Okay. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Great, excellent. Muy bien, ahorita vamos así, all right? Normales, no van ni lentos, pero tampoco van rápidos con las contractions. ¿Por qué? Necesito que ustedes vayan viendo y leyendo bien las questions, right? No me pongan cosas que no están ahí. Hasta ahorita vamos bien, nadie ha puesto nada. Pero no, no se inventen ni la A, porque a veces me ponen A donde no lleva A, o a veces me ponen otro sub. So, vaya a su modo, no hay problema, vaya a su propio ritmo, a su propio ritmo, pero sí lea lo que está aquí. Vamos con Karina. Después de Karina va Alfredo Alfaro y luego Víctor Galdames. Action. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What, what does he do? Where do they work? What Do they do? Great, thank you. Next one. Me. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he, he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Excellent, thank you. Good rhythm, very good. No even ni muy despacito, and they were okay. Excellent. Let's go with. A quien le tocaba el check. Me. Okay. Victor. Excellent. Action, Victor. Okay. Uh, where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do you? Where do they work? What do they do? Great, excellent, thank you. All right. Necesito one last participant, un voluntario que pase en esta parte. Y los que no quisieron pasar en esta parte van a pasar en esta, que es peor. <laughs> okay, let me check. ¿Quién tiene la manita arriba? Xiomara, excelente. Yo digo Xiomara. Sí, yo. Uh, pronunciation, reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Great, very good, excellent, good rhythm. Bye, everybody. Se llegó el moment of truth. <laughs> Tenemos las preguntas aquí, estas que están aquí. 
de una manera normal. Esta, esta va a ser su parte de respirar, ¿ok? Y luego cuando se pasa esta es donde usted va rápido, ¿ok? Remember, están unidas, miren. Do you, do you, do you. Does he, does he, does he. En esta aquí, where does he work? Este es does he. No me vayan a decir does he, porque ya se me han equivocado anteriormente en otros cursos y me dicen does he. No, aquí es does he, does he, does he. Okay. Do they, do they, do they? Do you, do you, do you? Does he, does he, does he? Do they, do they, do they? All right. Ya me han preguntado, teacher, no hay ninguna con does she. ¿Quiere decir que no se puede? Sí, sí se puede. All right. No sé por qué no lo habrán puesto ellos, pero sí se puede. Does she do that? All right. Usted puede unirlo. Don't worry. As long as you are capable of doing, mientras usted sea capaz de hacerlo, go ahead. Ahora voy a iniciar. Así es como lo van a trabajar. So pay attention. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you... Ah, esa se repite dos veces. Usted puede omitir la segunda. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Okay. Recuerde, la primera columna usted va despacio, sereno, ya la segunda tiene que ponerle el speed, all right? la velocidad que necesita en esa reduction. Ok, let's get started. Uh, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Eh, no sé si puede repetir la, de, where, este, la, la tercera, cómo se pronuncia, porque no le, no le capto muy bien cómo sí. lo pronuncia. Dos he. Dos he. Dos he. Does he, does he, does he? Does he, or does he? No, does he, does he, does he? Does he, does he. Okay, thanks. Does he, does he, does he? Very does. good. Yes, otra reduction. Que necesiten ayuda antes de que pasen. Okay, let's go then. Vamos, ya, entonces. A ver, ¿qué es la última. ¿Qué? La última, do they? La penúltima, no, la antepenúltima. Does he, does he? Does he, does he? Does he, does he? Mm -hmm. Very good. Es Así es. Does he? Eh, sí. Déjeme ver. Sí, solo que aquí cambia el verb. Aquí es where okay. does he work y aquí es where does he do. What does he do? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Vaya, tengo algún voluntario. Any break? No. Alguien valiente. Excuse me, Miss. Yeah, tell me, Alfredo. No, no, no parece un dashi. Dashi, dashi. No, pero es lo que yo les explicaba. Sí pueden hacer la contraction, la reduction, perdón. No la pusieron ahí, porque esto no tomé de la plataforma, de un video de la plataforma. No aparece aquí, pero sí, ustedes la pueden hacer, ¿ok? Mientras sean capaces de manejarla, usted puede hacerlo. <risa> Don't worry. Okay, vamos con Kevin Rodriguez, please. Action, Kevin. Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you, where does he work? Where does he work? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Great, excellent, very good job. Bravo. Miren, tienen que aprender esta contraction, everybody. Aunque usted diga, no, teacher, no la voy a ocupar. Porque después van a ver otras contractions con el gonna, otras reductions con el gonna. Y el gonna es el que más utilizan ellos, all right? Hey, what you gonna eat? What you gonna eat? What you gonna get? What you gonna do? What you gonna buy? Utiliza un montón de veces el gana y súper reducido, right? Entonces usted tiene que ir prestándole ya oído a estas partes. Another volunteer, otro voluntario. Ok, action, Carla. Después de Carla, voy a pasar al que dijo mi, que no, no sé quién era. <laughs> Giovanni, ok. Great, action. Carla. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does she work? Where do they work? What do you do? 
what does she do? What do they do? Okay, Carlita, aquí me dijo does she, yes, does she. All right. Sí, es cierto. <laughs> Don't worry, no se preocupe, all right? That's great. With your if. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's go with Giovanni. Después de Giovanni, José, disculpe, José, usted estaba levantando la mano y yo lo he ignorado, José, I'm sorry. No, mentira, no lo he ignorado, que parece que pasan los demás, ok. Action, Giovanni. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? No, what does he do? Where does he do? What they do? What do they do? Okay, great. Solo en la tercera me dijo does she. Does en she. la de where does he work? Usted en la, en la reduction dijo where does she work? Okay. Is does he. Does he. Mm -hmm. Does he. Does he. Does he. Excellent, very good. Lo hizo muy bien, all right? Great. Vamos con Jose. Action, Mr. Bay. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do you they, uh, where do you, they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Great, great. Very good. Good rhythm, all right? Muy buen ritmo. El que todos los que han pasado han tenido muy buen ritmo. Y eso es lo que se necesita en estas partes de las reductions. Okay, let's go with Jimmy Flores. Después de Jimmy va Eric Lasso. Y después de Eric Lasso, Carlos Acevedo. Okay, action. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where, where does he, where does he work? Mm -hmm. Where do you, where do you they work? Where do, where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he, what does he do? What do they, what do they do? What, what do they do? Great, great, Jimmy, excellent, good rhythm. Let's go, Mr. Lasso, and after Mr. Lasso, Mr. Acevedo. Action. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Okay, very good. Yes, Mr. Lasso, you didn't have any mistake. Very good. Action, Mr. Lasso. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? That's correct, sir. Thank you. Very good job, everybody. Let me give you a clap. Este aplauso va para todos, all right? Great job. Excellent. Listen up. It's not easy. Yo sé que no es fácil, pero lo lograron. Very good job. Los que no pasaron, espero que hayan practicado ustedes on your own, all right? Para ustedes mismos. Simple present WH questions. Meaning, this is como mi conversation fab de todo el curso, all right? Esta conversación es super graciosa. So here we go. He works in a hotel. Rachel and Angela. 
Where does your brother where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right. So you see when you're talking wrong things. Por si no captamos very good the conversation, les explico. Ellas estaban hablando, right, de los trabajos de sus hermanos. Uno de ellos trabaja en un hotel y de hecho el hermano de la otra persona, y en este caso sería de Rachel, creo, all right, también trabaja en el mismo hotel, pero es el manager, o sea, la persona que no es agradable para el hermano de la otra chica, que sería Angela, all right. Y pues ella le dijo de que no lo quiere eso. <laughs> Very much uncomfortable. Eso fue bien incómodo en this conversation. Now, let's have you guys. Ahora les toca a ustedes practicar. Let me have Karina Alejandra. Ustedes Rachel. Claribel Monterrosa. Ustedes Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in the hotel, too. He's a front agent. How does she like it? No, very, not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does she work for? The plaza. That's fun. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. 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 What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good job, Claribel. Repeat after me. Action. 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 No, actually. Actually, perdón. Very Actually. good, excellent. Y Karina, do not forget. No se olvide, Karina, que se pronuncia do, not do. All right? That's it. Eso sería lo único. Let's go with Victor Galdames. You are Rachel. Usted va a ser Rachel. Y Janet Guevara. Usted va a ser Angela. Action. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother wor works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How oh, does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's funny. My brother was said do. Oh, that's in, in, interesting. 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 What does he do? Actually, actually, he's the manager. Great. Very good job. All right, Janet, repeat after me. Das. Das. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Y Victor, repeat after me. Agent. Angel. Agent. Agent. Yes. Agente sería agent. Okay. Thank Very you. Very good. You're welcome. Vamos con Ortiz. Ustedes, Rachel. Kevin Villalobos. Ustedes, Angela. Action. Uh, yo soy Rachel. Yes. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a front desk agent. Who does he like it? Like it? Like it? Not, 
very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, there too. There too. Oh, that's interesting. What he do? Actually, he's the manager. Great, hey, excellent. I was able to feel the vibe. Fue sentir la vibra, very good, excellent. Let's go with Jose Valle, you are Rachel. Uh, Mayra Guevara, you are Angela, action. Where does your brother work? I am a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Does do what? What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny, my brother work there too. Oh, that's interesting. What doesn't he do? Actually, he's the manager. Great, excellent, thank you. Repeat after me. Uh, Mayra, Ash. Ash. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. ¿Qué significa actually, everybody? A ver, alguien que me diga qué significa actually. Actualmente. Actualmente. En este Actual. momento. ¿Qué les no. pasó? ¿Qué les pasa, calabazos? <risa> actually es en realidad. All right. No. Currently es actualmente. Currently. Pero actually es en realidad. O sea que usted puede decir. Hey, do you like donuts? Supongamos que alguien le pregunta si le gusta la donuts. Hey, do you like donuts? Actually, I prefer sweet bread. En realidad, prefiero el pan dulce. All right. Usted puede utilizar actually en cualquier contexto porque significa en realidad. Okay? Mm. Keep in mind that. Sé que actually eh, se escucha como actualmente o, o en la actualidad, pero no. Es en realidad. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Actually o oh. Actually. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually. You're welcome. Very good. Actually. Ahora Actually. vamos con la última pareja, everybody, and then I'll let you go. Oh, no. Wait. We're going to stop the class in here then. Listen up. For tomorrow's class, we're going to finish entirely the section. All right, para mañana vamos a terminar completamente la sección 3. Ya solo nos faltan como una cosita, un video, and that's it. Y vamos a empezar a trabajar en el midterm exam, porque tienen hasta el jueves para completar. All right, y creo que el midterm exam es un poquito largo, ok? So that's pretty much it for today's class, everybody. Básicamente eso ha sido la clase de ahora, todo lo que hemos visto. And I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye, take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. 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 teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, See you later. Thank Good you, night, teacher. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Yeah, See you tomorrow, everybody.